Yo, what's going on, y'all? So today I'm going to be covering how you can use Easy Algo to become the most profitable, right? Use it the most effectively. Um, I'm on the NAS 100 right now, and it's a false misconception that Easy Algo only works on crypto. It actually works better, um, in my opinion, on stocks and Forex. Um, and that's because these types of assets play the zones a lot better than cryptocurrency does. Um, now, obviously, crypto is still um, a very technical asset to trade. Um, I think it's actually more difficult, um, honestly, looking at the charts to trade crypto rather than something like Forex or stocks because these just play off the zone so well. So I'm on the two hour time frame, which if you're just starting out and you just got easy algo, I definitely recommend to use a higher time frame such as the two hour time frame. Um, and I'm using Japanese candles and I've been using Japanese candles a lot recently uh, just to help me get that better entry. Now, I do recommend Heiken Ashi candles um, if you're a beginner uh, and just to get the hang of entering and exiting trades. Um, but recently I've been using Japanese candles or I'll do a side by side with Heiken Ashi and Japanese candles. But I'm really liking these candles, especially with the easy algo support and resistance levels and catching those swing failure patterns at those levels. So if this sounds foreign to you, I'm going to cover it in a second exactly what I'm talking about. First of all, if you'd like this indicator for yourself, click the first link in the description. We just released Easy Algo V3 um, and pretty shortly, hopefully next week sometime, I'll be dropping uh, an entire course on YouTube on getting set up, how to use and different strategies that you can use with the new and improved Easy Algo. So the inputs of this indicator uh, are pretty simple, right? First, we have the buy and sell signals, which have been killing it, as you can see, and this is a non repaint indicator, all right? I do not mess with those repaint indicators. We only use non repaint over here at Easy Trade. So if I go into it, you'll see we have the buy and sell signals, the sensitivity, which pretty much dictates when you will buy and sell. If you have a higher sensitivity, you're going to have less frequent signals, which is better for a higher time frame. Um, and then if you have a lower sensitivity, you're going to have more frequent signals. All right. And then we have an automatic stop loss and take profit, which we're not going to use today. Um, but that's there if you'd like. We also have the trend ribbon, which does a great job of showing the overall trend of the market. And the bread and butter of this indicator are the support and resistance levels. Now, as you can see, we have two inputs. We have the support and resistance one, which is the regular support and resistance, the standard, which is on the chart now. And then the support and resistance two, which grabs the support and resistance levels from any time frame. So I can you grab the levels from the four hour time frame and throw them up here on the two hour chart. Um, that way you have even more confluence of where those levels are. But we're not going to be using the SR2 in this either. We also have the reversal indicators, um, which is actually new to Easy Algo V3, as well as the previous day high, low and close and some EMAs, which we're not going to be using. But that's there if you'd like. Now, the reversals add a ton of confluence as well. As you can see, the reversal indicators are these blue diamonds right here. Um, which are which dictate a bullish reversal and then we have these red diamonds right here which dictate a bearish reversal now you're not going to trade based off this alone um, but when price comes to a level that you are looking at and you have these confirmations um, it can be a basis for entering or exiting so to become the most profitable using this indicator you need to play the levels right and i always talk about this especially in the discord if price is in the middle of a range we're not going to be trading we're looking for trades at these low levels Levels, right at the support levels on easy algo trying to catch those swing failure patterns we're not going to be trading in the middle of a range for example we would have not taken this short trade right here why well because we have a support zone um, right under that sell signal which we'd actually be looking too long right so as soon as price comes to this level we'll be looking too long um, you know entering on the two hour or going down to a lower time frame uh, to kind of pinpoint that entry, right? And these levels are loaded in automatically by Easy Algo. So if you're struggling with technical analysis and you don't know how to draw these levels out yourself yet, then Easy Algo will kind of take the guesswork away from doing that yourself. And you know, the NAS 100 respects these levels so much, right? I mean, if I get the rectangle out and just draw some simple uh, support and resistance zones, you can see you know, how every time price comes to these levels, right? Um, it rejects, right? It rejects every time. As you can see, NAS 100 broke through this resistance level uh, and is now testing this resistance level, actually closed above it. So Monday will be quite telling on whether we can hold this level um, and possibly go up to the next resistance level, right? Do something like this 
and go up to this resistance level, um, which would be the next zone that I'm looking for at around 13,500. And you don't have to trade on the two hour time frame, right? I'm using it as an example um, because the charts are a lot smoother. And especially if you're trading an asset like NAS 100, you probably don't wanna be using zones um, from like the five or, or 10 minute time frames, right? You wanna use the zones from a higher time frame, um, which is why Easy Algo is an amazing indicator because you can load in these levels from a higher time frame and go down to let's say the five or the 15 minute to really get that entry, right? With your support and resistance too. So I can use the levels from let's say the two hour on the 15 minute time frame um, and you know pinpoint my entry when I need to. So as you can see, the support level that we have below us, the main support level um, is right here at around 12,582. And that's also the zone that I drew out. So when price comes back down to this level, if it does, that's when I would be looking uh, to take a long. So you wanna use these levels that Easy Algo gives you uh, to make an educated guess on where the market is going and look to catch either swing failure patterns or trade based off the easy algo buy sell signals at these levels. Now the greatest indicator of all is price action, right? That's why you can't rely on a buy sell indicator that does not keep in mind these levels, right? You need to keep in mind the horizontal support and resistance levels when you're entering and exiting trades and you will not become profitable using most trading view indicators for the simple fact that they don't keep these levels in mind and that the buy and sell signals are not accurate at all and it is just gambling. You have to understand why you're entering a trade um, and waiting for price to come to that level. If you wanna be in and out of the market every five minutes, you're gonna get wrecked. You need to wait for those high probability setups and especially, like I said, if you're a beginner, go to a higher time frame, um, especially, like I said, if you're trading Forex um, or something like that with the higher time frame zones because price tends to respect these levels. And if you don't know how to draw these levels out for yourself, then get Easy Algo, which will have these levels identified for you. So it takes the guesswork out of finding these levels and then also using the buy sell signals as confirmation. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more trading content and I'll catch you guys next video.